Hi. So, I just got your video and I feel the need to answer it right away. I normally try and wait. It doesn't work. But normally I try and wait like a day or two so it doesn't seem like I'm super like needy or anything. It's just that I always end up noticing that you made a video like a couple hours after you make the video and then I feel the need to make a video in response just because like I like answering your questions and then it ends up being like five videos in a day and it seems odd but oh well. So what is the first thing? Oh yeah, about breaks. I feel kind of bad because I think there was a slight miscommunication. I most likely will be going home for Christmas break because it's, uh, uh, it's like tradition. We go, like, in terms of all the university people here, like, we, we go home and catch up whoever's, like, in, at different universities and stuff, and it's, like, that. And I'm not quite sure I'm ready to have a Christmas without snow. That might be part of my hesitation with not being at home for Christmas, but I will be going home for Christmas, but I won't be going home for like reading breaks or like like the weekend type holidays. Like apparently a lot of people go home for Thanksgiving break, which is like just a long weekend. And like, so it's those things that I won't be going home for, but I will be going home for Christmas. So I'm really sorry about that miscommunication there. Sorry, still. Um, and Oh yes, I, I, I made notes too, because, you know, it's easier that way. And I said, tell your mother I said hi back, because I think she thought we were, like, Skyping or something, so she said hi, then since I wasn't technically there, I didn't reply. Tell her I said hi, because I would have said hi had, it, had we been Skyping or something. Um, in terms of cooking, it's like, I like cooking, and I like trying new things. The only problem is that my family has... Everyone has different preferences. Like, my mother hates most vegetables. Like, a lot of them. My brother, he's gotten a lot better, but he used to be really picky, and then my my dad doesn't care. He, he'll eat whatever the heck I put on the plate. But yeah, I do most of the cooking for the house. Hold for the household. But since there's so many different things that I have to consider, I tend to kind of just use a set, like a stock set of foods that I make. So, like, I'm hoping university will be the time where I can, like, you know, play with things. Like, make things that I never get to make. Like, all the, like, I mentioned the mushroom and spinach and artichoke type stuff. Like, based stuff. I never get to make that because my mother hates artichokes. So, I'm going to use this time as an individual living alone with, I guess, some roommates to make these things that I never get to make at home. Um... Oh, and in terms of when I said cafeteria foods, it's just like, because just knowing who I am, odds are good I, I would end up just picking like one or two places that I just go back to because it's convenient, it's in the, it's in, on the way to classes. Then I would get so sick of their food after a few months, I would just get crazy. And like, it's just inevitable. That's, that's who I am. I go for the easy easiness. So that's why I want to be able to make my own food plus cluster plus or let me try rephrasing phrasing this. Also the cost for cluster and weekly groceries is still cheaper than a dorm room and a meal plan. So not only do I get fresh food that I have made so I know everything that goes into it and I can choose whatever the heck I want to eat for the week, I am saving a little bit of money too. So so that's nice. Assuming I can stick to budget and judging by this week, I can. Three, I made, I got a week's worth of food for three people for $60. I thought that's pretty dang good. If I can do that, I will be able to set a budget for myself that is much cheaper than a meal plan. So, that's what I have to say about that. Um, and no, I have not received your letter yet. Hopefully it will come in sometime this week. But who knows. Um, I've run out of notes, but there was something 
I do not remember what it was. Oh well, well, um, I guess this is a fairly short video. I, uh, it just, like, how can you miss a week of school? Holy crap, I miss one day and I'm lost. It's like, I'm not even, I'm not even, like, in classes that require really being there that much. It's still, I'm, lose a day and I'm just like, what's going on anywhere? So, like, like, last semester I missed, I was sick for one day. I got back. It was just like, did you guys do a week's worth of stuff yesterday, or, it was, oh, man. And then it never feels like I'm actually doing much in school, so I'm like, oh yeah, I, I could miss a, miss a day, and then I think about it, I'm like, no, no, I really can't. Anyway, that's, I got a job for the summer, like I haven't started it yet, but, I've like set like I've I've talked to the people and, and they'll be I'll I'll be most likely getting a job definitely for August but because people are leaving in August so definitely for August but I might if I'm lucky get um a job a job in July as well which is nice because like money so yeah I'm gonna go I'm gonna go I'm gonna go because I need to sleep. And wake up tomorrow morning. So goodbye, and I hope I answered any questions. Yes. If I have not answered any questions, just remind me or something, okay? Okay, cool. Bye.